Hello everyone, myself Pandgar SS, working as assistant professor at the Department of Physics at HM College Nassas. In this video, we have to going to discuss SYBSC semester 3 paper 2nd that is the PHY 232B that is the instrumentation. So, in this video, we have to start with a chapter first fundamental of measurement and today we have to cover the first topic aims and functional elements of measure so first topic is a fundamental of measure so before the starting with a measurement we have to know what is the need what is the aim and what is the requirement of measurements so first topic is the aim of measure so, what is the need of measurement? What is the requirement of measurement? So, many physical parameters of natural phenomena like as a pressure, temperature, force, displacement, light are converted into a quantitative terms or numerical forms. So, we have to measure that physical parameter or describing the that physical so it represents the magnitude of attribute of natural phenomena or physical fact so it represents the magnitude of attribute of physical fact second one to record continuous measurement and recording many nested so it records the continuous measurement with respect to time and Recording the many parameters of a natural signal or physical parameter. It is also major of record like as a physical, mechanical, chemical and optical properties of the physical parameters. So, which gives the different conditions of the physical parameters. So, Next, it is a functional block diagram of a functional elements of typical measurement system. So, this is a block diagram which represents the typical measurement system. So, these are the different blocks contained in the measurement system. First one is the physical parameter, second one is the transducer element, third one is the signal conditioning element and fourth one is the display and these two are calibration element and external power element these are the supporting blocks of the measurement system so this typical measurement system is divided into two categories first one is the basic functional elements and second one is the auxiliary elements so these are the different functions of the typical measurement system so starting with the first block that is the input that is the input signal from a physical parameter like as a temperature humidity strain pressure voltage current so these are the physical parameter given to the basic functional elements like as a transducer so the transducer it sends the physical parameters means non electrical signals and converted into electrical signals so transducer contains the two types of sensing first one is the primary sensing and second one is the secondary sensing so primary sensing like as a when we apply a pressure so there is the some displacement and that displacement converted into a output voltage like as a LVDT so that is the secondary senses so these are the primary and secondary senses by using a trans element so transduce basically main function of transducer element it sends the physical parameter and convert it into a electrical form means it converts non electrical signals into a electrical signals so next one is uh, next block is the signal conditioning element so these block is used as a amplification so whatever signal getting electrical signals getting from a 
transducer element these are the very low level fee so that's why we have to make a strong signal or without error or error free signal so that's why we have require signal conditioning element to that amplify the signal and convert it into a strong signal or as a amplification signal and as a good signal and it contains as a like as a operational amplifier then uh, some adc dac so these are the are included in a signal conditioning element so that output of the signal conditioning element given to the display so that display you have to see the what is the parameter given to the input to the measurement system so if you are given to the temperature display shows the temperature in a numeric form so display which gives the whatever input from a typical measurement system so display give a numeric form of in terms of output of the that input quantity so next we have to require some external power element to activate or for their operations these blocks are require some power and next one is the calibration element some errors some plus minus so some calibrations are required so we have to require get the error free output or without error output that is the block diagram of a functional functional elements of typical measurement system so starting with a main elements so it converted into two parts first one is the basic functional elements these are the content three elements first one is the transducer element second one is the signal conditioning element and third one is the data presentation element so we have to already seen the what is the function of these three elements and second one is the auxiliary elements so there is the also same three blocks first one is the calibration element external power element so calibration for to generate a output without error and external power supply to for a operations or to activation of the block we require a power external power so that is the function of the external power element and last one is the feedback element some part of the output again sends to the input that is the one block of the auxiliary elements that is the feedback element next one is the functional basic functional element starting with the first block so first one we have to see in the transducer so transducer it converts the non electrical signals or physical parameters into a electrical signals so it converts one form of physical energy like as a force pressure humidity strain temperature etc into a another useful energy form in terms of current voltage or resistance means it converts non electrical signals into a electric signal so when we use a transducer in a typical measurement system we have to require some good characteristics or we have to see the some parameters when we use choose a transducer so it has good accuracy good reproducibility good frequency response and amplitude stability and linearity so these are the characteristics are required for a choosing or used for a transducer for any application next one is the signal conditioning element whatever output generated from a transducer signal in terms of electrical form so these electrical signals it is very low level or it is the weak so we have to convert it into a strong signal or reliable signal or desired signal so the output of transducer element is very weak or low level signal which is unable to drive or display device recorder 
so if it is a very low level signal so you cannot the display the proper output on a display device or record that's why we have to require signal conditioning element to modify the signals or amplify the signals or to changes the parameters of the signal so some different modification techniques are used in signal conditioning element circuit like as amplification sampling filtration compensation linearization differentiation and adc i think everyone knows the what is the uh, function of this different modification first one is the amplification it amplify the signal means converted into strong signal or high level signal sampling it samples samples the signals in uh, in terms of number of samples and convert it into suitable form filtration filtration it is also same as the uh, sampling or remove the unwanted parts or unwanted signals compensation it is the same as the changes of amplitude and another things by using a compensation linearization it is the gives the relation between a input output changes differentiations so differentiation is also gives the it is the specific quantity and uh, last one is the adc analog to digital converter uh, it is the your analog signal or uh, physical parameter gives a analog signal we want to convert into a digital because of we want to display the signal in a numeric form so that's why we have to require a adc in a signal conditioning uh, element so these are the different signal conditioning circuits are used in a signal conditioning elements next one is the data pre presentation element so that uh, block which shows the numeric form of physical parameters or physical quantities so which gives the in terms of digital form so output of the signal conditioning element is gives to the display or device so which represent the how much quantity we have to given to the measurement system so we have to know the consider one example we have given to the temperature we have to display uh, on a display device shows the temperature if we are given to the pressure you get the pressure so like that different physical parameter like as a temperature pressure humidity these are the different parameters. so we have to use a different display device or recorder like as a video monitor strip chart recorder magnetic tape recorder graphic recorder panel meters digital display device like as a seven segment display liquid crystal display so these are the different devices are used for a data presentation element blocks of typical measurement system and now we have to know the supporting elements of typical measurement system is the auxiliary elements so which which gives the operation uh, which gives to support of that main functional elements first one is the calibration element it provides calibration to instrument internally or external so the calibration element which are gives to the output in terms of without error free or without any noise so it provide a calibration of instrument or measurement system internally as well as externally so next one is the external power element to empower the different element system so a typical measurement system has different blocks when we it operates they have to require some external power to operate or performing their operation so the external power elements it empower the that blocks and last one is the feedback element 
So it is the provide error signal to control physical quantity which to be measured. So feedback it is nothing but a some part of the output is given to the input up to we have to get a proper output. So it provide a error signal to control physical quantity which is to be made. So that is the all the blocks or elements of the typical measurement systems are working.